Ah, Afghanistan. It's a beautiful country filled with friendly people, delicious food, and breathtaking natural beauty. It's a perfect place for an anonymous 4chan poster to go on vacation. Except there was just one problem. To Afghanistan now where the Taliban is seizing control of more and more territory. Militants have taken their 10th major city of Ghazni and are closing in on Kandahar in the south. Now concerns are growing that they could take the capital of Kabul, home to the U.S. Embassy and hundreds of American troops. This is the story of how one poster's trip to Afghanistan transformed him from an anon into a public figure and how he barely escaped with his life. I'm Jabroni and this is The Legend of Lord Miles. It all started with a 4chan post on Friday the 13th, August 2021, which read, Decided to pop down to Afghanistan for a few days, never been before. Just goofing off and soaking in the sun, seems more peaceful than London to me, ask me anything. The first reply kindly requested some verification to prove that he wasn't another role player pretending to be in a dangerous place, to which Miles posted a picture with his flight itinerary complete with enough unique identifying numbers and personal information revealed that someone on 4chan probably could have taken the flights for him. Keep this in mind, as Miles' habit of oversharing sensitive information with the internet in the middle of an active war zone becomes very important to the story later on. The document revealed that Miles had in fact flown into Kabul at possibly the worst time to be in Kabul since Genghis Khan paid a visit. A concerned poster asked if he was in the military, and Miles said nope. I'm a student at Elboro University, and I'll be here for five days. I don't believe they'll take the capital for a good week or two, so plenty of time. Oh no. Some of the board was skeptical that someone so naive could actually exist, but others began to realize the grim reality of what was actually going on. Miles went on to explain that he almost had a degree in physics and an investment banking job, two professions the Taliban were sure to respect highly and have plenty of job openings for in the new government. He went on to say that he had googled the top 10 most dangerous countries in the world and used it like a shopping list. This guy's next post is going to be on live leak, isn't it? Meanwhile, the rest of Afghanistan was rapidly falling to the Taliban. This rapid invasion of nearby cities didn't deter Miles. He explained that the airline tickets he bought were non-refundable, so he would either leave six days later on the 19th, or he would die. Just the Afghanistan grind set. But Miles wasn't completely without a plan. He showed the thread that he had gotten the title of Lord printed on all his credit cards by buying a fake certificate and wearing a suit to the bank to get his cards updated. He reasoned that the Taliban would probably keep him alive if captured, thinking that a captured Lord would give them some negotiating power, like a spy movie prisoner swap on a budget. The next morning, Miles was banned from 4chan for doxing himself. Not only had he shared his full name and face, he also made his Facebook public and was posting there for the world to see. He was pretty quickly able to get around the ban and immediately began posting more proof to silence the doubters. This guy really was in Afghanistan. While Miles was posting Kabul food reviews on an anime forum, the Taliban was quickly closing in on the city, capturing points within 70 kilometers of our poster. U.S. intelligence started revising their estimates. Some anons asked to see pictures from Miles' hotel window, but he responded that he was in a super secret safe house, a five minute walk to the embassy. If things really did go south in the next 72 hours, Miles could briskly walk to the UK embassy and the whole thing would be over. Hello and welcome if you're watching in the UK or around the world. We start with breaking news now. Taliban fighters have reached the Afghan capital, Kabul. Some reports say they've begun entering the city, but a spokesman for the militants said that they've been told to wait. The Afghan presidential palace has tweeted that gunshots have been heard at a number of points around Kabul. With the Taliban beginning to surround the city, Miles decided to do some tourism. On his morning drive around the city, he saw some sights like bank runs as the country's economy collapsed in real time, car crashes, and the military abandoning their posts. After his joyride, Miles decided it was time to use his foolproof fallback plan and go to the embassy. It was already evacuated and closed. Miles then walked for an hour to the airport wearing a headscarf while pretending to be his interpreter's wife, making him the first person in history to think that pretending to be a woman is a smart way to get the Taliban to leave you alone. Once at the airport, he was told that there were no more flights, and he started walking back to the safe house, much to the dismay of the board. 
Once back in the safe house, Miles started the most interesting Twitch stream the beauty and body art category has ever seen. I'm going to graduate. And I'm going to work like a 80 hour week a job, 80 hour week job until I'm 40 something. So it's my one opportunity to go on like a mad lad adventure. Basically, this is just white boy summer right here. Yeah. So when I walked to the airport, the Italian man was literally driving into the airport and I was leaving because there was no flights. And I had my cross around my neck. And they just looked at me, but I just didn't care. Like, what are we going to do? Shoot me. <laughs> he didn't. So, yeah. Um, stare down the Taliban. And he looked so happy. They were smiling. Like, oh, we keep moving the capital. We're here. To be fair, they've just waited like 20 years to get their place back. How long to a flight to... Okay, how long to a flight? No idea. I have no idea. I'm not too sure if a flight's even happening. I might have to have a military evac. So, like, there's loads of helicopters overhead. Oh. I just heard a worrying noise like a firework. Oh, it might be a missile. Miles, are you going to be safe in your safe house? <sighs> well, if I rename it to a normal house, you know, it's not a safe house anymore. I should be safe. I don't know anywhere else. Um, I think it should be fine. I think it should be fine. If, if I die, I die. But if not, it's all good. Miles was putting on a brave face for 4chan and the stream, but that night he had something of a mental breakdown posting on Facebook that his memory was fading and that his face in the mirror didn't look right. If the Taliban were to find the safe house he was hiding in that night, there wasn't anywhere else to run or anyone coming to save him. The next morning, the safe house was visited by friendly military operators. They slapped some body armor on Miles, handed him a rifle, and evacuated everyone to a new safe house. Miles posted that America had taken back control of the airport, but noted that the situation there was tenuous at best. Little did he know how bad it actually was. The situation at the airport had gone from confusing to apocalyptic. Every Afghan person who had ever helped the government or NATO troops and their families were painfully aware of how the Taliban treats people it considers enemies. So desperate to get out that people were hanging onto planes as they took off, hiding in the landing gear, and handing babies over fences to strangers human tragedy had reared its ugly head. Meanwhile, Miles' 4chan posts had stopped, with people fearing the worst. But all was not lost. The next day, Miles posted on Facebook that he had gotten on a list for Dubai and may be flying out within a few hours. A few hours later, Miles posted this video from inside one of the transport planes. He had finally made it out of Afghanistan, but not without issues. Two nights prior, when Miles was having his mental breakdown, he began speaking with lots of reporters. He told one of these reporters the full name of the tour guide and translator who had helped him around the city and get to the safe house. The reporter then published that full name in their article. The Taliban were on TikTok, Twitter, and all other social media. To mention someone's full name in country who had been helping you is arguably to sentence them to death. A YouTuber named Remy Down Under Gaming made a great video documenting what had happened. In it, Remy also explains that he reached out to the journalist who published the interpreter's name and got him to remove it from the article, and also worked to get the article scrubbed from the internet archives. Miles argued that the tour guide had wanted his name shared and that he hadn't done anything wrong since he hadn't shared his location. Since Miles made it out of Afghanistan, he's gone on to give several interviews. His Facebook and Twitch have been wiped clean, and several Redditors who claim to have known him in the past chimed in with some not so nice things to say about him. I'm curious to know what you think. Is Miles a mad lad just having fun, living out his wildest and most dangerous dreams? Or is he being irresponsible and wasting resources needed to rescue him that could have been used on someone else and endangering other people? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you like this video, you're going to love my video about Squeezy Jibs, the most interesting man on the internet. You can check it out here. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay weird, internet. See you next time.